Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are breaking down another Hoffa Mendes sparring session with one of his black belts at AOJ Gym. Now, this video isn't very long. The sparring session was about three minutes or so, but Hoffa does quite a few things that I want to highlight that might help you in your sparring or rolling session. So with all that out of the way, let's get into this breakdown. So here we are at the start of the sparring session and Hoffa is going to grab his grips and sit to his guard. And now when his opponent tries to start passing his guard, Hoffa is going to reinforce his leg with his left hand. Now I actually tried this in the gym quite a few times and not only did it help me keep my leg endurance, you know, I wasn't tired when I was playing guard retention, but it also reinforced and stopped people from passing on that side. As you can see, his opponent here is trying to get a knee cup position, but Hoffa reinforced that leg by bringing his arm in. So give that a shot. It makes guard retention a lot easier because you're not just using your abs you're using your hand to reinforce your legs and your legs don't get as tired as they normally would so Hoffa here is trying to play a collar sleeve position which opens up a lot of attacks from the bottom he looks like he's kind of defending here but what he's really doing is trying to set up his offense bringing that lasso to make sure his opponent can't pass and allowing him to set up the collar sleeve position here bringing his knees on the inside also and switching from hip to hip just off balancing his opponent and not allowing his opponent to get a chance to set up a guard passing position here we see Hoffa get into almost a a reverse umaplata position and uses that momentum of rocking forward to trap one of his opponent's arms. Now you know Hafa Mendez is the goat at the arm bar here and when your arm is kind of trapped in this position it spells disaster. So Hafa's opponent here is doing an excellent job of reinforcing his right arm with his left arm making sure that Hafa can't get the arm bar which we all know he wants because let's be real it's Hafa Mendez. So Hafa is going to make sure he takes his time here and he's going to start pushing on his opponent's left arm and feeding his left arm in between the space that he's created here and once he's able to free his opponent's left arm, now he's in the modified side control position. His opponent tries to buck, not able to do so, and Hoffa solidifies the side control, then steps over into this mounted Kimura position, excuse me, and now he's able to pull the arm, get the armbar that he wanted, and get the tap. So here we are starting from the feet. Once again, is going to elect to grab a grip on the lapel with his right hand, and then use his left hand to grab the back of the tricep area on his opponent. This is kind of like the standard guard pulling position. He's going to now take his left foot and put it into the hip of his opponent and start setting up this collar sleeve position again. Now Hoffa is going to switch to a cross collar grip and I don't know exactly what he was trying to go for there but he ended up just getting into close guard and now he's just going to work that same collar sleeve from the close guard position. What he's doing here is pretty much basic stuff that you would learn in like your first two or three months of jujitsu here playing from the close guard using that collar sleeve position to get into almost a scissor sweep position but utilizing that to hop up into a triangle position. His opponent is doing an excellent job of keeping his posture up but Hoffa is going to start collapsing his opponent's right arm and locking up the triangle proper. Now that the triangle is locked up, Hoffa is not going to go for the triangle but go for an armbar position by utilizing the arm that's trapped in the triangle and pressing it against his knee, getting a straight armbar finish. After he gets the tap, his opponent and Hoffa are going to stand up. They're going to quickly slap bump and try to set something else up, but that's going to be the end of the round. So let's get right into the takeaways. The major takeaway here is Hoffa's guard retention ability. He's using his left hand to reinforce his left leg, which prevents his opponent from passing. Now, I was able to do this in the gym when I was focusing on guard retention, and I was amazed at how my legs weren't burning out, my abs weren't burning out, and I was able to retain my guard a lot longer with multiple rolls. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. It truly means more than you know. Now, we're going to be bringing a lot more Hoffa sparring breakdowns, a lot more Gi sparring breakdowns, a lot more of Dalpra's sparring breakdowns, Colabates. As long as I have a subscription to AOJ, we're going to be breaking down people's roles, so stay tuned for that. So, with all that out of the way, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.